Hello, this is your Tuesday talk for September 8th. I have to apologize, it's a Tuesday talk, but you're getting it on a Wednesday because yesterday was really, really busy with starting chorus and then I had a lot of stuff going on in the evening, so I didn't get the Tuesday talk done until today. So you're getting it, you're just getting it um, a day late. So who's your Tuesday talk for Wednesday or for Tuesday, September 8th? Here's what I'd like to work on um, with you this week. I need to figure out what your voice part is. If you're a soprano, if you're an alto, um, if you're a baritone for the guys. Um, also, we have um, a started chorus in person. If you are in seventh or eighth grade, chorus is on Tuesday during enrichment. If you do not have an enrichment class or if you have to go to PEP during enrichment, um, please come see me Monday mornings when you would normally have ELO under other circumstances. But since we don't have ELO, um, we will have uh, just a small group of course for the people that don't have an enrichment period due to those things. If you are in sixth grade, we will be starting chorus on Monday. Since we didn't have Monday this week, that pushes everything back. So we'll do it next Monday. So Mondays during enrichment for sixth grade, Tuesdays during enrichment for seventh grade, and Tuesday and Friday during enrichment for eighth grade. So, all right, here's what I want to do today. We are going to be working on uh, figuring out your voice part. I'm going to sing a song. If you don't know this song, it's very catchy, and I'm going to take a copy of the music and I'll put it in your um, in the Google classroom so you can see a copy of music. I look so tired this morning. I don't know why. I got a great night's sleep. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this or copy this. We're going to sing this several times. Um, I'm going to sing it first uh, in the original key and you can get a ear for, for it. And then we're going to sing it four times. And all I need you to do today is in the comments, please put um, which one, one, two, three, or four, was your best one. Which one was the most comfortable singing for you, comfortable to sing for you? And, um, you know, which one was just like, yeah, that one felt good. If there's two, you could say one or three or two or four, one or two, whatever works for you. Okay. So, and I can take those. I've been doing this long enough that that kind of gives me a good snapshot, just a little brief idea of where you like to sing, what range you like to sing in and what range, uh, what voice part you might be best suited for. Okay. Here we go. The door's open. Maybe I should close it just in case. Okay, now. Here we go. The song goes like this. If you don't know it, and if you're in sixth grade, you probably don't, but that's okay. If you don't know it, um, it's so catchy. I'll do it a couple times and it'll be stuck in your head for like a year. Here we go. Yonder come day, day is a breaking. Yonder come day, oh my soul. Yonder come day. Day is a breaking, sun is a rising in my soul. I'm gonna do it one more time. Plus, oh, well, I'll do it several more times, but this is number one. This is number one. Now, if you need to go back and listen to these over and over again, you could do that. Um, I should have put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video that you might not wanna like do this week's Tuesday talk in a classroom full of other people because they'll have to listen to me sing this over and over again. And if you wanna sing along with it, you might, no, you might not want to do that with other people. You might want to do that with other people. It depends how comfortable you are. Here we go. This is number one. Number one. Yawn to come day. Day is a breaking. Yawn to come day. Oh, my soul. Yawn to come day. Day is a breaking. Sun is a rising in my soul. Here's number two. Actually, I'm going to start here. There we go. Ready? Here's number two. Number two. Number two. Come. Yonder come day, day is a breaking, 
yonder come day, oh my soul, yonder come day. Day is a break it, sun is a rising in my soul. Here's number three. I will also say that if you are a guy and you could sing like number two down an octave, so instead of singing, you sing it as, then you're definitely a baritone. So that's fine. If that's your most comfortable one, tell me that. But maybe um, also put in parentheses, sing it down. So I know that, okay, you're not a soprano, you're probably a baritone. All right. So here's number three. This is number three. Yonder come day, day is a breaking. Yonder come day, oh my soul. Yonder come day, day is a breaking. Sun is a rising in my soul. That was three. Here's number four. Number four. Yonder come day, day is a breaking. Yonder come day, oh my soul. Yonder come day, day is a breaking. Sun is a rising in my soul. One, two, three, four. Tell me which one was the most comfortable for you to say. Which one did you feel like, oh yeah, I could sing right there? All day. If there was, um, you know, one that you're like, ooh, that, was, that was, wasn't my favorite, don't mention it. If you have two that you're like, I could do this or this, you can write both of those down. Okay? So just to recap, number one, yonder come day. Number two, yonder come day. Number three, yonder come day. And number four. Yonder come day. Whichever was the most comfortable for you, uh, put that number below. And uh, this is a little bit of an assignment because I really do need to know your voice part so we can move on. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. See you later.